Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. How are you today? We are here for your you versus them reading. Um, this is about uh, your feelings versus how they feel in a comparison. Sagittarius, look at this energy. It's so intriguing. There's so much happiness and there's yet there's difficulty and some pain. I feel as though your twin flames, this is my twin flame card here in this deck. It's a naked uh, heart tarot and it is a number 22 and it is basically two hearts beat as one. It's 1111. The Justice card is showing me that both of you would like to have a relationship that would be a marriage relationship. Justice card is you need a you need a marriage license to get married and create a legacy relationship. So the energy between the two of you is quite exquisite. Both of you want to find balance and harmony, but right now the Four of Swords says that something has happened to create pain for both of you. You're both trying to heal from something wounding that happened to the two of you. So I'm getting that Sagittarius, the energy that you have towards this person is great passion. Eight of Wands energy, make love all night, talk all day. You can't really get enough of this person. That actually is a very, very powerful energy. It's Sagittarius energy, it's your energy. The Devil card says that the sexual part of the relationship can actually make you feel compulsive about it. The Devil energy, like it also indicates that there's certain types of maybe sexual um, exchanges or uh, pleasures in bed that you like to partake of. Uh, you may be a very dominant person in this relationship. Um, we're really seeing here that you are obsessed with this person and yet you are not inclined to want to rush to them to have a marriage. So even though this energy is here, you as an individual are very comfortable in the hermit mode, living alone, you know, searching for answers, having time alone. I do get the Queen of Wands energy, which is Aries energy. So most of you have, it looks as though sad, you probably have th places to go, people to see, things to do, that you're quite social. It looks like you belong to some different groups here, but you definitely want to be with this person. You definitely want the relationship. But I also get Ten of Swords energy. You have either hurt this person or they have hurt you, or because we get both of you recovering from some sort of argument or wound, I'm getting that, you know, right now you just feel like, time out, I need a break. Ten of Swords, I really need a break here. You know, I feel as though I've been stabbed. But it also means that you could have done some of what, what felt like a betrayal to your partner. So when I look at their energy towards you, Sagittarius energy, wheel of fortune, here you are. They think that you are the best thing since sliced bread or canned beer. Eight of wands. <laughs> Jim and I had a, no, Virgo had a similar reading. The two of you are so passionate. Sometimes it looks a little bit like the passion, if you're married, oh my gosh. The neighbors are like, oh, what are they doing over there? Like there's smoke coming out of the windows, you know, and it doesn't seem to be dangerous. Um, but what your person feels has happened, your person has made some sort of decision about the relationship. They feel as though they want you, they want to be with you. This person, you know, we have marriage energy here and you also want this because it's mutual energy, but you're not ready for it and they are. They feel as though if you don't love them enough, if you don't think of them as your happy place, then they're actually considering that maybe they should take a different path. And I feel as though they've told you that and your response to it is to feel really, you know, like you've been stabbed in the back. So I think these cards are the ones that are causing the wounding that I see because five of cups, you, you, that your person thinks that you are bored with them, that you don't spend enough time with them. 
Um, they feel as though you are their happily ever after, which is yet another marriage card. We see that you're really comfortable being a bachelor, but you know, you want, you could see building a legacy relationship with this person, but not right now. You would see it down the road, nine months, a year and a half. And your person is not feeling that way and they told you. And so I feel as though there's been a conversation that's been something like, well, what's the status of our relationship? And Sagittarius, you tell your person, I'm really happy with it. I'm really overjoyed with it. I like everything about it. And your person says back to you something like, well, I really like the relationship too, but I really want to be married and I want to have a family or, you know, whatever marriage looks like for them. And it looks as though they said something to you to the effect that if you don't want what I want, five of cups, and what they want is the Ten of Cups, happily ever after, that you, that they will go ahead and accept your rejection of them, but they are asking you to make a decision. And the decision that they've made is that if you can't or won't make a decision, that they may take their relationship, they may go out, they may make the choice to leave the relationship and go look for their happy place. And that is what's wounding both of you right now. So one of you, and it, it happens a lot, you know, as a professional reader, I see that, you know, somebody's ready to get married in a year and another person says, no, no, three is normal. I, I wanna wait three years. I love you, but I'm not ready. And the, uh, you know, and person A says, well, but that's not my timeline. I wanna be married and I wanna be married soon. And so if you won't marry me soon, then maybe I should look elsewhere. And then if, of course, you know, Sagittarius, your response would be, well, wow, if that's really how you feel, then maybe you don't really love me. And maybe that's coercive and maybe that's controlling and maybe that's not what love looks like. So there's sort of a, there's a dichotomy between two people who are passionately invested in one another. Both of you, your person is more interested in happiness. You're very interested in stability and wealth both of you can find a balanced place and you are twin flames so let's see why we have the ten of swords here and your energy sag what is this why is the ten of swords here two of wands okay and the and the nine of wands so sag what i'm seeing for you is you won't take an ultimatum. If somebody gives you an ultimatum, then you know, you're willing to wait for the relationship. You're willing to really point out to your person that you're in it to win it, but you're not going to be pushed into making a decision prematurely. That isn't your style. So you would say, well, do whatever you have to do. You know, if you need to go your separate way, two of wands, two of wands, then you need to go your separate way. Why is it? Let's see, why is the devil card here? Why is the devil card here? Okay. We have the heart of swords. So the heart of swords energy says that the, you know, that the devil is in the details. That essentially, Sag, that you would cut anybody out who tries to control you because a devil card when the way it acts in real life that i find you know is that you feel as though your person is controlling or that you're controlling but there are control issues within the bounds of this relationship and you're not having it if somebody tries to control you then you would cut them loose it would hurt you it would feel like a betrayal if they were trying to control you and that's how you would handle it. You're not really going to put up with that energy. So let's see why your person feels that judgment must be made right now. Why, what's the clarifier for the judgment card? Yep, there we go, twin flames, there we go, two of cups. They feel as though you're twin flames, that like, well, it's inevitable that we're gonna be together, so why don't we just go ahead and do it? Okay, wow, twin flame, twin flame. So interesting that it's such a, two different decks, two similar cards. Okay, look at the bottom of the deck, the lover's card. Okay, why do we have the five of cups here for you? Why is the five of cups here for your love interest, Sag? 
Why is the Five of Cups here? Why are they feeling so sad? Ten of Cups, look at this. Ten of Cups, Ten of Cups. You're their happy place. You are their wish fulfillment. You are everything they could possibly want in a relationship. But, okay, so let's look at your best course of action. Because clearly you're at a stalemate and clearly the relationship could come apart. I don't think it will, but it looks like you're in a very, very rough situation because neither of you is giving in. So let's see what we have here for the shadow deck. What is going on behind the scenes in the heart space of Sag and their lover? How will this get resolved? How will it get resolved? How will the situation get resolved for beautiful Sagittarius? Seven of Wands. Well, you'll both defend your positions. You'll have a, a lively debate. Oh, both of you really, you almost become childlike. When you debate and when you really talk about how much you love each other and what viewpoint that you're, you're coming into this whole disagreement with, look at what happens, the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands energy in this deck is really sweet. It's very gentle. It's not about in and out energy. It's about, you know what, I'm here, I have a lot to do. I want to nurture the relationship. I want it to grow, but I want it to grow organically. You know, so that's the decision or that's what's coming in. One person comes away from this in a state of heartbreak, but we also get balance. Justice card is coming in again. So the two of you find your balance. Is there any way that this heartbreak can be overcome? Six of Wands, yes, victory, victory, victory. Okay, so how do, how do you get a victory with your person? Sag, how, what makes them feel like you really are in it to win it? How, how do you help them see your viewpoint as being valid? King of Cups, wow. You really have to tell them that you don't say it very often, that you don't wear your heart on your sleeve, but you love them dearly. They're the only person for you. You think about them a lot. You really have to let them know. I know the Scorpio King does not typically talk about their feelings, but this is Phoenix rising from the ashes time, and this person really needs that from you. They, we get all these cups. You're probably dealing with a Cancerian or a Pisces or a Scorpio, you know? And so I would say, Sag, that it's really time to step up and tell this person that there, the fact that you're not ready for marriage has zero to do with not loving them. You do love them, but you are very concerned about the dynamic of the relationship because you do want a partner with whom you can collaborate. You need someone, Sag, who you can really talk over things, you can discuss matters, and you can come up with solutions and answers without major fights and threats because you are not going to give in to anybody who tries to strong arm you. Let's see what messages of love have to say here. I miss the feel of you next to me, so the hermit card. So sad you are missing your person. Chemistry, the attraction you feel, we have all of that chemistry right there. All right. Obsession. You're obsessed with having your own way because obsession is a devil card. Someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts. So, well, both of you have it though, that being the case, because this person is gripped with thoughts of marriage and it has to be now. And you're really, you know, gripped with the idea that, well, if you love me, yeah, here we go. Unhealed wounds are blocking forward mo movement. So these are old wounds. You will have to address them with your person. You do love each other tremendously. All you have to do is talk through this and don't expect for the talk to take place all at once. My recommendation in this, because there's such a a really a strong sense of tension. Talk about how you feel. Don't talk about the other person and their feelings. Speak your own truth from the heart 
and do it in 10 minute increments and then call it a day and keep doing that until all of a sudden you're really blending your energies again. Don't let this become more divided. Just say, I'm gonna say how I feel, not what I expect from you, but why I feel the way I feel. And learn that conflict resolution skill because that will allow the two of you to come together in this relationship. Love is not the issue. You both, you're twin flames. You love each other dramatically and somewhat compulsively and passionately, but one person can't take charge because if there is a winner, there's a loser and that doesn't work in relationships. Leaving it there, Sag, take care. Send me love. Sending you love from Chicago, Irish Donna. Send some back and tell me where you're from.